All right, hi everybody. This is Jared Passy, and I'm going to be doing a short uh, lesson on Fibonacci, both uh, retracements and projections. Uh, we're going to be using the interbank charts with the MetaTrader, and uh, right now I've got a uh, chart of the Great British Pound, Japanese Yen, and uh, we'll be using that for most of our demonstration today. All right. So first of all, let's get into our Fibonacci settings. Um, if you haven't already got your FIBO settings on the chart, then you need to go to the Tools and Links uh, page on uh, lotsofpips.com and get the Fibonacci settings, or you can use the uh, Barriers uh, worksheet. It's got all the settings on there. But uh, where we get that in here is we first draw a Fibonacci. So we take and place a Fibonacci on our chart. We go in and we right click on it to get the properties now if you can't right click on it to get properties you need to click on it left click once to get the little nodes up and then bring up your Fibonacci properties okay and that pops up this window right here and we've got these four tabs common which is basically what you call this Fibonacci and what color the angled line is and what style it is you also have your Fibonacci levels and they have their own style and color and then you've got the price levels now these price levels come standard 0 0.236, 0 0.382, 0 0.5, 0 0.618 and 100 or 1 and the rest of them I have added in here so go and get those para those parameters now you'll notice in the description that mine looks different from yours probably because there's a percent sign and a dollar sign and then two spaces in front of all the descriptions the percent a dollar and two spaces and what that does is that goes in and sets the price of that Fibo line right on the line itself. Okay, that's a pretty handy tool. You can thank me for it later. Um, I found it online. I didn't invent it. But uh, since the price, 231.78 of each of these lines, so you have a better idea of where things are. So let's go ahead and uh, delete this Fibonacci. Right click, delete. And let's, uh, let's do some retracements. Okay, the major retracements levels are 38, 50 and 62 percent and so what we're going to do is we're going to come up here and grab Fibonacci retracements we're going to go ahead and we're going to drag from the top of a move down to the bottom of a move so we point our mouse to the top drag it to the bottom and we're paying attention to these levels here 38, 50, 62 and possibly 23 and 76 so what happens is on this move is this thing dropped down and then it dropped down several pips if we looked at how many pips we could see that it went approximately oh, 745 pips down and this is a four hour chart so you know that's a significant move and uh, we've got a retracement levels of here's our 23 percent Here's our 38%, here's our 50, 62%, and 76%. So you can see that on this move down, once it was finished with the strong move, a lot of people took profit that were selling, and it retraced back up and hit exactly on 38%, right there, before it continued down again. Now our 38% was 233.49, so that was even a psychological barrier of 50, 233.50 that that turned at. Now that's a good clue, by the way. It can help you out. So once that continued on down, this is a re uh, this is how we use our retracements. If we see that a price level is some other kind of barrier and a retracement, and it turns around there, it might be a good retracement trade on that, or it can be a target from a retracement trade on here. Let's say you come down and get in going long here because of this barrier, or or this turnaround and you're writing it up 